how do you define yourself? Who is Jim Bagnola? I would say that I am a teacher. The reason why I'm a teacher is I love learning. I love to see a spark go off in people when they get something and they practice it. For instance, uh, I was with a CEO who I uh, presented to four years ago in Romania. He came to the presentation in Timișoara and he said, I want to show you what I practice that you taught me. I still practice it all the time. And he showed me the models I gave him, like reads, relationships, expectations, assumptions, destination, self-awareness. He said, I use this all the time in meetings. So I'm a teacher, I'm a learner. I love learning one book a week. Uh, I take a presentation and I make it better. Uh, I don't like to keep it the same. I look for stories that will help me to teach principles to people because people remember stories. Well, I'm a teacher. What are your expectations before a training? My expectations are that everyone learn at least one thing from each other. So if I have 25 people in a, in a group, then their questions and their statements are, are teaching. Uh, I say, listen carefully, the students are teaching. So it must be interactive. My expectation is it must be interactive. I'm teaching, but they're also teaching. We're sharing. I remember somebody here said, Jim, you shouldn't come to Romania and be a missionary for business. And I said, I'm not. That's your perception. I'm here to learn as much as I'm here to teach and enjoy another culture. I enjoy different cultures, not the same culture. So how do you feel after a training ends? I feel during the training more energized than at any other time of my life because I'm doing what I was made to do. After the training I feel relaxed and a sense of self-esteem. Uh, is high because I feel like I did what I was made to do. In a movie called Chariots of Fire, it's about uh, an Irish guy who wins a gold medal, several gold medals in uh, track and field in the Olympics. And when he's running, he said something like, God made me for a purpose, but he also made me fast. And he said, and when I run, I feel his pleasure. When I teach, I feel his pleasure. What's the best feedback you have ever received? Somebody telling me, Jim, you're better. You're just, you keep getting better. See, I'm not staying the same. I'm getting better. Or people saying to me, I've learned things from you and I still use them. Or I get emails. You know, you changed my life with one phrase some uh, CEO of another company from Romania said, you said one thing eight years ago, changed my life. I said, what was that? She said, you said, stop trying to change the environment. Change yourself first, and then the environment will change. I told her a story about uh, in India, the a king wanted his people to be comfortable. So he said, let's put a carpet throughout the kingdom. But the king's advisor said, no, 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 too much work. Put the carpet on each one of their feet. Change the individual, you change the whole society. Put the carpet on the feet. There was the birth of a shoe, a sandal. From your experience, what motivates people? What motivates people is what makes them feel good about themselves. And that is, what, how do I serve other people? How can I better serve someone? When I do that, when I serve them, I make a difference in their life and mine at the same time. And science has told us that service can actually like volunteering for an organization can reverse the aging process as much as exercise. 
service makes people feel good about themselves. What do you do to become a better you? How do you improve yourself? For me, I practice meditation because meditation re releases stress from the nervous system. It's called transcendental meditation. You can learn it here in Romania. It removes stress in my nervous system that causes me not to be me. When the stress is released, I become more of who I want to be and who I am. Stress interferes with that. It interferes with that, that practice. Who inspires you? I'll tell you, my father came to America and he couldn't speak English. He went to the first grade and he didn't know any English. He learned it in school as he went along. That inspires me. Uh, and became a successful person in the U.S. Uh, my mother was born without sockets in her hips. And when she walked, she hurt, suffered. And she suffered all her life until this day at 84 years of age. Still suffering, but had her, her hips replaced. But now they are hurting again. But she worked, raised us, did everything, didn't complain. They're heroes. One more person who would inspire me on the Israeli border uh, with Palestine uh, in the occupied territories. Uh, one man had his son was out playing with a toy gun, and the Israeli soldiers thought this gun was real. So from a distance, they thought he was going to shoot somebody. They shot him by mistake, they killed him. They took him to the hospital, and 24 hours later, he died. This Palestinian man decided, I'm tired of all this war and this hate. So he went to his imam, imam, the priest, and he said, I would like to donate my son's organs to the Israelis as a bridge to peace. What do you think? He said, that is very, very God-like. You were able to do that. So he donated his son's organs to six Israeli people and saved their lives. One could see it, one had a little liver, one saved six people's lives. Children, six, five children, one adult. That inspires me. This is a man who knows what, what Islam is really like. He's a true Muslim. That's inspirational. How does the perfect training look like? Perfect training to me comes when I accept feedback from everybody and hear what they learned for the day for themselves. When I hear that, then I know I did my job. They learned something useful. If people can't, they, they think, I don't know what I learned, I would be not successful training. They learn something that they will use. Success. What's your solution to the economic crisis? It is a team effort by everyone in the world. No one country can pull us out of this. We're all in it together. So if Greece has a problem, which they did, everybody should help them get out. If someone else has a problem, any country has a problem, we all have to do it together instead of competing. Now what the world is being pulled in as a team. It's forcing the world to get along. It's forcing the world to see, wait a minute, China relies on US, US relies on China. If the market goes out in US, China's finished. They, sell, they make everything made in China to America. Walmart, the biggest corporation in the world, everything is made in China. 1.2 million employees will lose their jobs if Walmart goes out of business. So how, how do we function as a partnership in the world instead of competing? We accept diversity, we accept communism, if it's working in China, why should I force democracy on you? If, the, if communism, communism works, use it. And so I think we have to get along economically and socially in the world now. We cannot fight with each other. We cannot do it anymore. It won't work. What's the best attitude for me as a participant at a training? What should I do 
at the training to make the most out of the training session. The more I involve myself, the more I evolve. So the more I participate, the more I learn, the more risks I take during the program event. Also including making mistakes. I raise my hand, I say something, I take a risk, and so what if I make a mistake? And the facilitator should also feel the same, no problem. That may, not, that may be your perspective, and that perspective is okay, but for this training we're trying to get to this point. But it's okay, good to take the risk, good to throw out that idea, even though it may not be absolutely accurate. How will your tomorrow be different than what today is? What will you do differently tomorrow? Each day, like you told me, I should be getting better. So I want to learn more, be healthier, have a better attitude, and have more friends to partner with. The more friends I have to partner with, the more successful I am. In fact, the more people I help to become successful, the more successful I am. So I want more people who touch me to be successful. Thank you so much, Jim. That's a good